Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupavi. Welcome to Simply Current Affairs. In today's Current Affairs Hitler series, we are going to discuss an important topic that is Nipah virus. Before getting into today's topic, I want to do some basics that is, I will tell you how to approach a disease related topic. So, whenever you come across a disease related topic, what are all the things you have to notice? That's what I am going to list now. The first thing you have to notice is, what is the causative agent of the disease? Causative agent, whether it is a virus, bacteria, fungi or parasite, right? And the second thing is whether it is a vector borne or non vector borne disease. Vector borne or non vector borne disease. What do you mean by vector borne or non vector borne? So, any disease that gets transmitted via a living organism, we call that disease as vector borne disease. A classic example is dengue. We all know that dengue gets transmitted through mosquitoes, and mosquito is a living organism. So, any disease that gets transmitted via a living organism, we call that as vector borne disease. And the second one is non vector borne. So, this is otherwise with, uh, without the help of living organism, either it can be through airborne droplets, contaminated food or water, then that kind of tra disease transmitted, we call those diseases as non vector borne disease. Example here is TB, we can say. We all know that TB is a airborne infection it spreads through airborne droplets whenever someone coughs or sneezes then there is chance of getting tb transmitted from one person to another so this is non vector bond and the third thing is you have to see if it is vector bond what is the vector responsible for causing the disease what is the vector okay and the fourth one you have to see is what are all these symptoms of the disease. So, symptoms as such are not very much important. However, if a disease has any particular symptom, then you can make note of it. Fifth one is whether it is treatable. What are the treatment options available to treat the disease? And the last one is whether it is preventable. What are the prevention measures? Prevention measures available. Prevention measures available and whether it is vaccine preventable. Okay, if it is vaccine preventable, check whether this vaccine forms a part of universal immunization program. Right? So, these are all the things you have to see while coming across a disease. Now, getting back to our topic that is Nipah virus. The first what we have to see, what is the causative agent? Here it is, as the name suggests, it is a viral infection caused by Nipah virus and this Nipah virus is a RNA virus. Okay, we have two types of viruses. One is RNA virus, other one is DNA virus. Here, Nipah virus is a RNA virus. And what is the, whether it is a vector borne or non vector borne disease? Here, it is a vector borne disease. So, who is the vector here? Fruit bats. Fruit bats of Tiroporidae family are the vectors of Nipah virus. So, any fruit infected with the saliva or urine of the fruit bats, if someone consumes those fruits, then the Nipah virus gets transmitted from fruit bats. So, it can be transmitted either to humans or even to certain animals like pigs, goats, horses and dogs. So, here fruit bats are referred as natural host, natural reservoir of Nipah virus and these animals are referred as intermediate host. Okay. So, the disease gets transmitted from fruit bats or either these animals get the infection from food, fruit bats and give it to the humans. So, any disease that gets transmitted from animals to humans, then so, such diseases are referred as zoonotic diseases. Okay, zoonotic diseases are those that gets transmitted from animals to humans and Nipah virus is a zoonotic disease. Also, it can get transmitted through contaminated food or even directly between infected people. If I am infected with Nipah virus, then there is chance of someone who comes in contact with me to get the Nipah virus infection. So, this is how Nipah virus gets transmitted. This was first identified in 1998 in Malaysia. Later, there were many outbreaks in different different countries, including Singapore, Bangladesh and India. And in India, we all very well know that Kerala is a primary spot for Nipah virus outbreak. Right? So, what all we have seen? What is the causative agent? Whether it is vector bond? Yes, it is a vector bond. And fruit bats are the vector transmitting the disease. 
along with pigs, goats, horses and sheep, sheep like animal and how it, does it get transmitted either by consuming the contaminated food or even between people the Nipah virus can get transmitted. Now what are all the symptoms of the disease? See the symptoms can be even asymptomatic, no symptoms the people can show or otherwise they, it can range from respiratory infection, acute respiratory infection that is breathing difficulty will be there. It can even lead to fatal encephalitis that is the brain swelling will be there here. It can lead to death even. WHO says that the fatality rate for Nipah virus that is any person getting infected with Nipah virus how many percentage of people uh, can result in death this is called fatality rate okay and this fatality rate is assumed to be 45 to 75 percentage uh, according to World Health Organization and because of this and along with this uh, because of the disease has the potential to become a pandemic WHO has mentioned this or uh, has made this Nipah virus as a priority pathogen okay what is pandemic any disease that can spread across nations we call that disease as pandemic instead of getting confined to a particular region if the disease, disease can spread across nations then that disease we refer as pandemic we all know COVID-19 was a pandemic right so this Nipah virus has the ability to uh, transmit across borders and that's why WHO has listed this as a priority pathogen. Now coming to treatment. Is there any treatment available for Nipah, Nipah virus? No. There are no drugs as of now available to treat Nipah virus. Then how is it treated? Only symptomatic treatment that is supportive care is provided. If you have any symptoms for that uh, the disease for that the treatment will be given. However Nipah virus as such we can't treat, we don't have any drugs as of now and we don't have vaccines also to prevent Nipah virus. However, the research is ongoing to use monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of Nipah virus and if you want to know more about monoclonal antibodies, stay tuned for our new playlist Science Through PYQs. I'll give you just about the playlist towards the end of the video. And can we prevent Nimba virus? Yeah, certain prevention measures we can take but we don't have any vaccines to prevent as I said before. So what are all the preventive measures? Protective equipment we have to wear, we should disinfect the surfaces frequently and we should avoid contact with the animals or humans who are already infected with Nipah virus. And we have to avoid contact I said and we have to wash hands after carrying sick people. Any, if you find any fruits that has signs of bad bites, then you should not consume those fruits. These are all the preventive measures. And why is it seen in news? Because there is an outbreak in the uh, outbreak of Nipah virus in Kerala. Along with this, ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, this has invited expression of interest from eligible organizations to develop monoclonal antibodies that are uh, that are a treatment modality against Nipah virus infection in India. Right. So this is this is why we are seeing this in today's session and here is a one page summary I have given about Nipah virus just take a screenshot of this page and use it for your revision purposes. Now based on our discussion construct an MCQ and post it in the comment section along with this I have a task for you. Uh, there was a PYQ that is previous year question related to Nipah virus and monoclonal antibodies go search for it just comment that question along with the answer in the comment section okay. And friends, we are coming up with an exciting and interesting playlist, Science Through PYQs. Stay tuned for this series and an announcement video regarding the playlist will be out today. I hope all our initiatives are adding value to your preparation. Keep learning and keep revising. Thank you.